Namaste everyone. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how you can focus on one of the important pillars in our life, which is wealth. I know we hardly talk about wealth and spirituality, but we do live in a material world, so it's important to focus on that um, to make sure we have a sustainable life. My name is Priya. I'm very passionate about sharing positivity, empowering others to live their life to their fullest. We're all creators. We have the capability to live our life the way we want. So let's make it beautiful together. Let's dive in. So today's topic is about wealth. And I know we often tend to focus on our health, our spirituality, our growth, but part of it is wealth as well. And it's important because a lot of people tend to think wealth is something negative. If you, if you're, you know, they have this, um, as much as they want money, they, anybody that's rich, they have this negative um, um, impression on them stating that, okay, when they're rich, they're like this, when they're rich, they don't give, when they're rich, they're stingy. All these negative thought forms come in. So, but wealth is important. You need to focus on it and grow it and make sure you have enough to be able to have a sustainable life, to be able to build yourself because we live in a material world. As much as we can go into spirituality and go into different spaces in our mind or in our energy body, um, and, and you know, everything is connected, but to have this material, because we are in a material world, we, um, we are connected to it and we are a physical being. Um, even though we're a spiritual being, we have a physical body to embody that and therefore we need that material to be able to sustain our life here. So what what are the things that you should be doing? First thing is, I would say, is remove any negative thought form about wealth. Often time people try to manifest what they want and they think they are not able to attract money in their life. They're not able to attract any sort of wealth in their life. But oftentimes it's because they have so much um, blockage in their in their auras and chakras about all these negative thought forms that are um, that we kind of get from uh, uh, as growing up or either you would have heard your parents say something about money or or um, you would have heard um, you would have either heard your parents say something about money or you would have heard the society or friends or somebody in your life that would have mentioned something about this so at the end of the day you need to learn to reprogram yourself so tell yourself that money is needed you need to focus on this um, um, but in a, in a well-balanced, positive way and, and try to build yourself that way. So that's one, way, one point to look at is to really reprogram yourself and remove any negative thought forms about wealth. The second thing is you can um, really do meditations and do all these laws of attraction and all that, but you need to put action in it. Um, the minute you don't put action, nothing's going to happen because every... Even the word law of attraction has the word action in it. So you need to really put the action. If you're just sitting there and wishing for it, it will be just a wishful thought. Um, but for it to happen, you need to put some movement. You need to keep doing things. And if things are not working, change it and do things that um, will make you closer to where you want to be. Um, third thing I want to mention is, yes, you can still use spirituality and um, any um, other aspects um, of uh, spiritual or energetical forms such as doing meditations and focusing on bringing more light um, and purifying your body and removing your karma because karma is part of a, um, a blockage of wealth as well. So focusing on that and then also um, you can use items such as um, gold, uh, make sure you have some gold, um, uh, if, if you have it, make sure you have some gold color items in your, um, like in your, in your business room or in your office room um, and, and make sure you have, um, um, you can use uh, specific stones as well, like citron, um, those kind of stuff actually attracts and brings more prosperity. You can use, there are so many different things. If you, if you learn um, Kriya Shakti, um, there are so many different things that you can use. But at the end of the day, like I said before, action um, speaks louder than any of this. And if you don't put that actions in and you're just bringing these stones and having uh, meditations, that itself is not going to bring you wealth. You need to put um, effort into all of this. The other thing is making sure you have clear idea of what you want. Um, all, everyone just says, I want to be rich, but they don't have a clear plan, having an outline of what you want. So the best thing is to have visualization. So having a vision board is very important. Having a clear idea of what you want, having a picture picture of it that constantly remind you of what you want and how you want to be, How just picturing exactly um, how it feels and all that just 
getting into that feeling, the thought form in that positive, positive vibe will make you become, um, be in that positive vibe as well, vibe, vibe as well. So, so the next thing um, that can also help you be in that good frequency is um, surrounding yourself with people who are also in like-minded, who are um, investing and doing, um, being, having that um, mindset of growing. Uh, because if you're in that uh, vibe, if you're with that frequency, um, you, your frequency will start aligning to that frequency as well. So it's important to um, have people that has the same, um, who are, who has the same um, mindset as you in, in terms of um, growing your wealth. And obviously, the last thing I want to share is that no matter what you do, um, I mentioned about karma earlier. There's always that whatever we try to invest here, don't stress yourself out. But some people, they um, really go deep inside. Um, but then when they see failure, they um, really go through depression and all that. And you, sh you shouldn't just, you have to um, really invest in yourself um, before you start investing in wealth. So make sure you um, really do things smart in a smart way. So if you need to invest into a coach or someone that can help you um, see how things work and how you can grow um, and someone that you can trust, make sure you speak with them because um, you need to know that you're putting your money in the best way possible um, or you're growing your money in the best way possible because um, if you're just blindly putting things in and you're failing and you're losing more money, um, that will that will bring you down um, and therefore your energy will go down and you will attract that even more. So instead of that, be wise about it, be smart about how you're investing and how, how you're investing in yourself by um, teaching yourself to grow, um, grow your knowledge around money um, and that way you can really invest properly. So these are just some little tips that you can use. I'm sure there's many more um, that you can practice and or you're already practicing and if you have, please pre um, put in the comments below so I can also learn from you as well. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please click the like button, share this video with others. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification button as I'm very determined to creating weekly videos for you guys. Until then, namaste.